should step it up, step it up laws, and I think they should very much bring the death penalty into vogue. Anybody that does a thing like this to innocent people, That's right? That are in anyone, temple or in even church, the government. We had the, so I, I love Trump. I'm a big Trump supporter, and I'm going to just say this really quick. No one knows if he's actually real. But we can't allow ourselves to be so paranoid from what this government has done to us. In my case, a TI, gang stalked victim, that's been terrorized by military. Uh, I'm almost 50. These are like, they got 20, 25 year old punks with muscles and money driving around trying to open my car door, trying to get to me, trying to sneak in my back window, D just different accounts. 2017. It's been quiet lately. It's been pretty quiet, I'll be honest. It's been quiet. I'm not going to lie. It, overall, it's been real quiet for about, about the past year. It's, I mean, overall. There's been little moments here and there, little things here and there, but overall, it's been nice and quiet. But what they're doing to me, what they've done to me, what they've done to other people is her is terrible. It's horrible. And I'm going to tell you something. I would never kill myself. See? Never break the law. I... I'm, I'm boring. I get a burrito, I watch a movie, and I want everyone to know that. Like, I don't plan to disappear anywhere. I'm not going to kill myself. I'm in great health. It's important for reality, especially in a dangerous case like this, to be present <laughs> at every moment. Let's just put it that way. This is very, very creepy. And I, I really am asking the government at the top, FBI and the CIA, to please stop this black program before, you know, they end up coming over here and killing me or, you know, my aunt or something worse to to us over here because it's it's uh it's it's scary. Yeah, it's very scary. This is a secret police program, gang stalking, it's a slang word. Basically the government's using taxpayers' money, millions of dollars, probably billions of dollars to hire thugs to go around in all the big cities of the USA and small towns to terrorize American citizens. Just just to terrorize them, that's it. You can say, well, what, what are you doing? We're not doing anything. Most of us aren't. Some people are probably guilty. Most of us aren't doing anything. But they, they've been caught setting people up with crimes, murdering people. Um, most of it, for the majority, seems to be no-touch torture where they're using microwave weapons and they're using all these dangerous weapons to hurt people to really damage their bodies and again their mind so the public needs to learn about this become aware of it and in my opinion if you can have a society especially now with the tech age and we're, we're we're past the dark ages you cannot allow people to run around like animals hurting people that's and that, especially if it's the government that we're supposed to trust if we give our trust to them we're happy to do it and they turn around and they misuse that trust